dealing with the disaster management. Thank you. Uh, welcome, Mr. Michael Agono and uh, Mr. Olumwa. Let me give you humble time to introduce yourself to tell our viewers who you are. My name is uh, Omodi George Olumwa, popularly known as Kidikibodi. I'm the municipality administrator, Migori. Mm -hmm. Yes, popularly known as Town Admin. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, my first question is going to get to you, Mr. Omondi. Mm -hmm. Is Migori County at large prepared for any strike of disaster? Okay, to uh, some extent, we are prepared. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why do you say to some extent? Because the few uh, cases we have realized in Migori, mm -hmm. we have responded to them so well. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of them have been successful. Disaster is something that comes without you knowing. It catches you unaware. Mm -hmm. And what matters in uh, preparedness is response. You can be well prepared, but you fail to respond. Mm -hmm. It is how you respond when disaster strikes. That is what determines how prepared you are. Mr. Michael. Yes. In your opinion. Yes. Do you think Migori County is prepared for any disaster that may strike? Yes, the county is prepared. You need to be a bit loud, kiddo. So the, the county is prepared in terms of uh, disaster. This is because uh, we are looking at, uh, in preparedness, we are looking at capacity. What is our capacity as a county? What do we have vis-a-vis -vis our response magnitude within the county? Number one, if you look at our towns today, the towns are expanding. And uh, we are also talking about climate change. That comes with a lot of flooding, the perennial flooding within our sub-county in Yatike, uh -huh. as well as other parts of the county. So uh, I think uh, for me, mm -hmm. we are prepared and uh, in several locations I've seen uh, people come together. We have forums where stakeholders meet, people give opinions, people give materials, people give technical advices. I remember during the El Nino preparedness, we had a lot of uh, discussions. How do we manage El Nino? Who is taking what? Who is moving where? So it's, it's, a real, it's evolving around capacity. Can we build a capacity that, that when a disaster strikes, we are ready to respond? For me, we are prepared. However, we are not to that point of saying now we are safe. Majorly, when you overwhelm, when your capacity of, is overwhelmed, that it becomes vulnerable, you will seek for an external support. For instance, we had a fire incident in town yesterday. You would see there was a vehicle, there was another fire engine that came. That is just boosting the capacity. If the capacity of the county will not manage by that time, then you can call for a backup. That is allowed. Because the magnitude of the, of the incidents, it might overrun you. So you call for a backup. So it, it means there's a lot of coordination that is going on means a lot of communicate coordination that's going on to actually bring uh, or bring out the safety of our people as well as property protection. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Uluwa, yes. what are the mechanisms that the county has in place, that the county has put in place that uh, are awaiting any disaster that may strike so that they may respond? Okay, Migori County Government in the past has realized different cases of disasters. Uh, I would start with the cases of uh, mines which at times collapse. Mm -hmm. You realize when mines collapse, we have a, a line at the Department of Environment where the disaster management is domiciled. Uh, they respond very fast. The governor has secured a uh, back because when the mine collapses, people are trapped inside. Mm -hmm. We have a backward at the environment department, a tractor, that we send for evacuation very fast to remove them. Also, they have a, a generator that they use to pump oxygen inside while evacuation is taking place. You come to uh, areas of uh, floods or uh, let's say someone has drowned, we have swimmers who have 
who are trained, who have been employed. We have had several incidences where they have rescued uh, persons who are either drowning or already dead, because even a missing body should be rescued. Mm -hmm. We have also had cases of, um, of uh, road accidents here in town, like let's say now talk about uh, the town. Yeah. We have had two cases of uh, road accidents here. Our ambulances and the fire team responded very quickly. We rescued those we could and uh, the lives that were lost, we also picked them from the rubbish and took them to the mortuary. And then the last one, which is the fire incident that took place yesterday. I, I don't want us to get there because I'm going to come there. Yeah, so I would yeah. say we have always responded to the few incidences, the mine cases, the flood, the drowning, that is water, and the fire and the road accident mm -hmm. on our highway. Mm -hmm. Uh, the element of preparedness is there, response is there, mitigation is there. The only challenge we have is prevention. That is the only challenge I'll talk about. Because part of a disaster, there are those, some elements, we call them the peace, the mitigation, the preparedness, the response, recovery, uh, the, the, this one which is now prevention. Prevention is a challenge because residents themselves uh, always become uh, vulnerable to such cases. There is flood raging and someone just goes into the water. Some are either committing suicide or they have lost hopes in life. You find that people are just parking on the highway and an accident occurs naturally, you see. So prevention is the challenge. And this one calls, uh, it's a, a coordination between the public and us, not only the, the county government. The public have a part to play. We also have a part to play. So it's a, a collaboration. And that's why our sister department mm -hmm. of Red Cross comes in now to do public participation by teaching and enlightening our people. Sometimes they listen, sometimes they don't. Now, uh, has the county had any capacity building or training people on, on what to do in occasions where there may be a disaster? Uh, in particular, we have had sessions with the, the Red Cross team, uh, several of them. They have even gone as far as training our children during Kenya Scout mm -hmm. camps. Mm -hmm. their, their team has been involved. They have also done some training to our enforcement team, a lot of training for our enforcement team response. Like you realize nowadays, they don't take too long to respond. However, at times we face a few challenges, but which are normal which everywhere you would realize few challenges. But response so far now is for disasters happening in Migori mm -hmm. County, the preparedness is sufficient. Uh, Mr. Michael, yes. I, I think um, at some point we might have jump-started the talk. The public needs to know when, when we talk about disaster, what is a disaster? Uh, uh, to what extent can emergency be called a disaster? Let me pick it from the point of emergency. Emergency is when ordinary things are suspended and extraordinary measures are taken mm -hmm. to avert a disaster. Whereas a disaster is now where a magnitude is involved. We had had cases where somebody is dr has drowned, for instance, one person. That is not a disaster. That is an accident. That is not a disaster. Mm -hmm. Where we have more than 100 people involved, that is now a disaster. There's a mass destruction of structures, people are dead, everything is in mess. But when we have only one person, it means that community within that area, they still can cope with that situation. If you look at a place whereby there's an incident, somebody has drowned, for example, sorry for using drowning for so long, for so much. Somebody has drowned, like you went to a drowning incident. Yeah, yeah, just this evening. Were the Borabodas moving, livelihood activity, were they normal? Mm -hmm. They were, well, they were normal. Everything, everything was normal. Yes. So when you realize that everything comes to a standstill, there is no movement, livelihood activity are suspended, people are angry, that is now where we call it now that is a disaster. But uh, in most cases in Migori, anything that happens, whether it is one individual, it is a disaster. 
Uh, we've done so much public uh, sensitization on terms of uh, early warning signs in Kenya Red Cross. We always give 24 hours updates to Wanainchi, mostly during floods. We always send out messages. At this point, the rain will come. These messages come from meteorological department. We work closely with them. So we disseminate this information to the, to the public who are living close to large water bodies or the river lines. For instance, we have a, a river gauge yeah. at Ombo. We have one in uh, Onger, Wat Onger. Yeah. So mostly we always check this river gauge. That is in terms of flooding. We always check the water level from that river. That's where we info it informs our decisions in terms of uh, giving information to those who are living in the downside of the downstream. Yeah. So disaster will not mean only one person, but it is where it's a mass destruction of things and everything stands still. If we had a post-election violence, uh, I don't want to talk about 207, about, uh, the, the recent one in 2017 yeah. in Migori. Nothing was happening. Everyone was at home. Or a good example could be Corona, COVID-19. We were all at home. That is now a real disaster because no one is moving. But that was now public health in an emergency. Now, just uh, to rewind back some few months ago, uh, Migori County, especially Nyatike, mm. experienced flooding. Yes. And it is perennial. Yeah. It happens again and again and again. And we have seen the Kenya Red Cross coming in. Now, at what extent should Kenya Red Cross go? And at what point should the county government come in and the national government? And I, I, I want you to answer partly and uh, also involve Mr. Olumwa. So Kenya Red Cross is autonomous to both county and national government. Yeah. This means that uh, we work together, but Red Cross will make their own decisions. A county government will not dictate Red Cross, but we work in terms of partnership. This means if we have flooding in the TK, together with the Department of Environment where disaster management is domiciled, mm -hmm. we will gather teams to go and do an assessment just to know what's happening. From there we can develop one report, share with the technical team for informed decision making. So this team, there's a technical team, then there's a committee. This committee now shares with the governor director. So we work in synergy, but for Kenya Red Cross we are auto autonomous to both county and national government, but we work in synergy. Now Mr. Luma, yes. to what extent is the county government involved in a disaster like the one that Nyatika has been experiencing? Okay, what happened? We majorly work together with the, their department. Reasons, Kenya Red Cross is elaborate. They have de developed systems where they inform the county government of disaster about to happen and mitigation measures. For instance, in Nyatike, when there were floods, we worked with them to distribute relief foods. We worked with them to provide life jackets. We worked with them to open ridges so that the water could flow. Working independently in disaster is not easy because it's a community thing. You realize the CDF wants to participate. The county government wants to participate. The national government wants to participate. Who is the mother down here? The primary initiative was started by the Kenya Red Cross. So we always rely on them as the mother to help guide us. At times you don't pretend to be the mother of knowledge. You share activities so that you realize a solution. The goal is one, to save life and to rescue. To get the mission accomplished, we always endeavor to work as a team. You can find that many a times, like in the municipality where I work, we are we have the uh, uh what do we call these things to like a dome masks the masks the mask we have there which we are distributing belongs to kenya red cross they brought us seven boxes uh -huh. not that we can't afford to buy but because they are looking at the overall objective the municipality being a service provider 
they they gave us those gadgets, gloves and masks, so that when we are cleaning the environment, we don't land the citizen we have into more harm, problems. more problems. Uh, most of them were donated during uh, Corona. Mm -hmm. We used and we did exhaust them. So then they said keep them and use them for other areas. So as a county government, we are not autonomous. We work with them, not only the Kenya Red Cross. There are other organizations that always come. We work together, like the Kenya Relief, uh, the Kenya the Water Trust, the AMREF, the Kenya Scout, the Kenya Forest Services. Uh, there are several organizations. Even the Children Fund came the other day to team up with the county government. My dear viewers, it is getting hot as its name stipulates the hot seat. We are going to have a short break. When we are back, we want to discuss matters that affect the county, especially what happened yesterday in Migori town. How the, came, how the Migori emergency team responded. That is what we are going to check next. Keep tweeting, keep asking questions, keep sending your comment. We are taking a short break. We'll be right back. Welcome to Blackman Digital Graphics. We offer design, printing and branding services using large format printing, offset and digital printing. Our approach to printing, graphics design and branding is top notch with quality services including roll up banners, street banners, teardrops, reflective banners, telescope banners, vehicle branding, road signages, mugs, badges, t-shirts, polo shirts, hoodies, pens, letterheads, business cards, envelopes, receipt books, brochures, flyers, posters, calendars, magazines, wedding cards, plastic ID cards, funeral programs, and many more. We also have indoor and outdoor videography, photography, and live streaming services. Visit us at our Migori Market Onyinjo Bridge Tiendege Stage offices. Call or WhatsApp us through 0721-379308 or 0736-352224. Connect with us on YouTube and Facebook at Blackman TV. We are on TikTok as BTV Kenya and also Blackman Studios on Facebook as well. Blackman Digital Graphics, quality you can trust. Welcome to Blackman Digital Graphics. 